Saint Andre Bessat, O Lord, is you who are, are my portion and cup, you yourself who secure my portion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate St. Andre Bessette as well as the Christmas weekday as we get ever closer to the baptism of our Lord. But St. Andre is often called Brother Andre, and he was the doorkeeper of St. Joseph's Church um, in Canada, and uh, not considered very learned, but he certainly was full of the Spirit, able to offer the healing graces um, for, um, for people that were ill. So in the church in which he was considered the doorkeeper, there are crutches and wheelchairs and all of these things adorning all the walls in the area to show all the power that he had through the grace of God, that healing touch. So today we celebrate him as well as the Holy Cross Fathers that would be his order, same order that runs Notre Dame University. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord our God, friend of the lowly, who gave your servant, St. Andre Bessat, a great devotion to St. Joseph, and a special commitment to the poor and afflicted. Help us through his intercession to follow his example of prayer and sir and love, and so come to share with him in your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit, Moreover, we have seen and testified that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. In this, his love brought to perfection among us, that we have confidence on the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. And so one who fears is not yet perfect in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth, earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba will bring tribute. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, and the lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Please stand.
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After the 5,000 had eaten and were satisfied, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and proceed him to the other side toward Bethsaida. While he dismissed the crowd, and when he had taken leave of them, he went off the mountain to pray. When it was evening, The boat was far out on the sea, and he was alone on shore. Then he saw that they were tossed about while rowing, for the wind was against them. About the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them, but when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. They had all seen him and were terrified. But at once he spoke with them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. He got into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely astounded. They had not understood the incident of the loaves. On the contrary, their hearts were hardened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A little bit before Mass today, it was about quarter after seven, I posted just a little icon on the internet, on our Facebook page, that says, never hold on to anything more than you're holding on to God. Kind of a beautiful message that ties really into these readings. Because if we hang on to God with all of our life, he'll see us through. I think we all know that. As we hear the readings today, both of the readings, the first reading and the, and the gospel, it's asking us, what are your fears? What fears do you have? Certainly there's plenty of reasons to have fears right now. There's a fear of the pandemic. There's a fear of your health. There's a fear of, gosh, how is the country going to get out of this? There's a fear of economic stuff. Today the Congress gets together on the Electoral College. It could be another fear. It could be fear of future things that are coming, doctor's appointments or Social Security getting by, rising food prices. It could be struggles in relationships with family and friends. And what Jesus is saying in all of this, let go of the fears, trust in me. If you trust in the Lord and allow him to get you through, he certainly will get you through. When it comes to Jesus on the cross, which is certainly central with that that real manifestation of that love, we find Jesus in his humanity in the Garden of Gethsemane saying, not my will, Lord, but yours, not my will, Father but yours. And that's what Jesus teaches us by these readings, to let go of our fears. Don't worry about the storms of life. The storms will come. They certainly will, but they will subside. And if we clutch onto him and allow him to get into our boat that we call our lives, allow him to enter more deeply into our families, allow him to get rid of our fears, our first reading will say, that we'll get to know God all the more. We'll get to know him probably in more of the downs of life, but also hopefully in the ups of life. But we'll also experience his love. It takes a risk to forgive. It takes a risk to say, I'll be okay. It takes a risk to take have peace. It takes a risk to speak on behalf of your faith. It takes a risk for so many ways. In so many ways you could have fears. But Jesus tells all of us, Don't have fear. Keep peace. Keep the Prince of Peace alive. And today we celebrate another Christmas morning in which we can celebrate the birth of a Christ child in our lives and help us get rid of those fears. That icon that was posted said, Never hang on to anything tighter than you're hanging on to God. What a beautiful message for this day. Let's hang on to God himself and let him calm the seas and the storms. Let him be the one that we anchor ourselves to. And what we hear 
is that we will certainly be in love. We'll be in love with the saving Lord who loves us beyond all measure and will get us through. Please rise now for the intercessions. As we continue the Christmas season, knowing that Jesus comforts our fears and calms the storms of our lives, we turn our hearts to the Lord and present our needs to him. For all members of the church, for you and I, as we go about our work this day, may we continue to grow in faith, hope, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all public authorities, for all ways in which we're leaders in our own families too, may God grant all of us a humility to be guided by his word. We pray to the Lord. For those who feel alone during this season of joy, those that are sick, those that uh, you know struggle on, on being with fears and anxieties, those that need the courage like Brother Andre to join a religious community when they don't think he's good enough, or to be ill and go into St. Joseph's Church and ask for his help when you're ill and to have the courage to get rid of the fear and to come. We pray for all those that grieve the loss of another, we pray for those suffering from the coronavirus, all those on our parish sick list, all those in need of our prayers. May the love of the newborn King bring all of us hope, comfort, and healing. We pray to the Lord. May the calming presence of the Lord bring all of us peace this Christmas day. We pray to the Lord. For the souls of the faithful departed, I pray for um, the family of Stella, who I, I celebrated her funeral yesterday at, at St. Martin's Parish. We pray also for our Mass intentions today, which are Mary Rictoric, and also the deceased members of St. John the 23rd Parish. May they all be welcomed into the heavenly banquet halls with our saving Lord. We pray to the Lord. As a secondary Mass intention, we pray for all living parishioners of St. John the 23rd Parish. May in this season we hear that call to cast away our fears and grow closer to an ever-loving Lord. We pray to the Lord. And for those prayers that we voice now in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear our prayers and trust that you will give us what we need. And we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create in blessed St. Andre Bessette, the new man in your own image, 
the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you reveal the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations, and when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. As without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you've set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In our own indirect way, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen, I say to you that you will have left all and followed me, will receive a hundredfold and possess eternal life. Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of blessed St. Andre Bessette and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I want to uh, remind you that today after Mass we'll pray the glorious mysteries of the Rosary. I can't make it today, so Joan Bauer is going to lead it for us. Um, but let's just stay close in prayer and, and work on getting rid of those fears. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.